What's up guys? Welcome to day 30 of I Read My Bible Today. It's kind of crazy to think that we are now 30 days and more or less a month into this thing. Um, I'm personally kind of surprised that I've made it this far. Um, I'm not always one to stick to habits or plans. Um, so this is kind of just a nice achievement for me. Obviously we're less than one third of the way there, but we're almost like a third of the way there getting to our 100 day goal. Um, if you're just now hopping on, basically what we do is every single day I read my Bible and we read a like New Testament passage, Old Testament ta passage, a Psalm, and then a verse from Proverbs. And then we also have a little devotional from Pastor Larry Stock still as well. And basically every day we read the Bible together and then I kind of come on and just make a video and just kind of talk about what I read and what I felt like was either inspiring or what I feel like God spoke to me or what stuck out or something that I've learned in the past that's kind of just resurfacing. And that's kind of the story for today. Um, when I read, I read through everything um, and although it was good, it wasn't like until I got all the way to Proverbs. And um, in Proverbs 21 verse three, it says this, it says the Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. And I read that and I immediately thought of a verse that I know of in 1 Samuel. In 1 Samuel 15, 22, it says, and Samuel said, has the Lord, uh, yeah, has the Lord, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to listen than the fat of rams. And just kind of harping on that last little bit, like, to obey is better than sacrifice and to listen than the fat of rams. All going to say that at the end of the day, what God is looking for, and obviously these are this is kind of more in an Old Testament standpoint, but um, you know what God is looking for, God is not looking for sacrifice, He's looking for obedience. And being obedient to the Word of God, being obedient to the laws, um, and really walking in step and in righteousness um, with what God has kind of said. And obviously both of those are Old Testament scriptures. Um, and so the context for those is if you don't know, um, basically the punishment for sin is death. And so how you would basically cleanse your sins in Old Testament is you would offer sacrifices with the spilling of blood of animals, typically a lamb um, for a sin sacrifice. And once that blood was spilled, the debt was paid and therefore you are cleansed. And uh, it just basically became ritualistic that for me to please God, I have to kill a lamb. And what we begin to see is that God is not looking for sacrifices or dead lambs. He's looking for obedience. And the beautiful thing about kind of this passage and something that just changed in me a long time ago was understanding the heart of God and understanding that it's not just he wants us to do right because he doesn't want us to kill animals, which is kind of like low key what I thought a lot of the time. Um, but it's actually stepping back and realizing God desires for us to live righteously and live sinless because that sin is the gap that separates us from him. And, you know, like, why did God create us in the first place? Like to be with us, for us to experience him, for him to experience us, to have relationship, to have a bond, um, you know, in shared moments. And unfortunately, because of sin, there's a separation that happens. And you know, when I read these verses, you know, obviously we have Jesus and that gap has been closed. And if you're a follower of Jesus, then you know that like you have been saved and redeemed of your sin. And because of that, we can now come to the throne of God boldly and worship him and be with him and be engaged with him and not have to worry about the whole like sin thing. Um, but even in a New Testament context, you know, we have to understand that God's desire for us is still righteousness. Have we been redeemed? Yes. Have we been made new? Yes. But sin still causes pain. It still causes sickness. It still causes death. Sin is still something that corrupts humanity and something that God desires for us not to have. And, you know, I think it changes the perspective for me when I go from thinking God requires obedience to God desires obedience because, you know, thankfully because of Jesus, like we're just never gonna be good enough to earn our way into heaven. And so we have access to heaven, we have access to God 
through Jesus, but his desire for us is to live righteously because when we live righteously, we're blessed and our lives are significantly more at peace and the amount of trouble and turmoil and quarreling that we have with like other people, like it just is minimizes, it goes down and our lives are just significantly more peaceful when we understand and walk in obedience to God's word and what he's called us to do, which is to live righteously. And there's a verse, um, it's either in Luke or John, or maybe both, where Jesus says, if you love me, you'll follow my commands. And it's really important to understand, um, my pastor taught it growing up, you know, there's two different ways to look at it. There's, you know, if you love me, like you'll do what I say and you'll prove it to me. But when we look at the character in the heart of God, that's not really the angle that we see. What we really begin to understand is when you love me, when we have relationship, you will follow my commands. Like it's more of a promise than an expectation. And it's a promise that we have that is then fulfilled through the Holy Spirit and him leading and guiding our lives every single day. And that just comes from time, that comes from intimacy, that comes from experience of just walking with God, walking with the Holy Spirit, understanding, you know, really what he has for us. And so really just kind of my Bible reading today was more being reminded of something that I've known before and just being encouraged in the fact of, you know, God's desire for me is to live righteously because it's better for me and it doesn't create separation between me and him. And then when I come to God, I don't have to, you know, feel bad about it. I don't have to feel shame. I can come to God with boldness and understand that he loves me and his arms are open and there's nothing corrupting the way that I think God sees me. And when that's not corrupted, everything's so much better. Um, and so really tonight I was just kind of reminding myself of that. And, you know, from here, like making choices to, you know, being in relationship with God, being led by the Holy Spirit, and, you know, choosing life every single day. So, anyway, that is day 30. It's crazy. 30 days in a row, reading our Bible every single day. But at the end of the day, I read my Bible today. Have you? If not, go read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next episode.